Today we're looking at how to solve equations. Now you would have done this in grade nine, but I want to review with you the process that we used to get there. An equation, just to start, is a statement that says that two things are equal. So it means it has equal signs already given to it. Yesterday's examples that we did were just expressions. There were no equal signs that were given. So for example, this could be an equation, or it is an equation. Seven plus two is actually equal to 10 take away one. And they're equal because seven plus two is a nine, and 10 take away one is nine. So nine does equal nine. It's an equation. Uh, we can also have variables in our equation. So I have a second example here of 3x plus 5 equals 2 take away 2x. Now what we're often asked to do is to solve the equation. And solve means to find the value for the variable that will make the expression on the left side of the equal sign. So in this second example here, the, the equal sign is here, and the expression on the left would be the 3x plus 5. We want to find the value of x that will make that equal to or be the same as the expression on the right side of the equal sign. So we want the 2 minus 2x to have the same value as 3x plus 5. We need to solve for x or find the value of x that will actually make it true. This is also called the root. So that value we find for x is also known as the root, um, or it is the solution. Now we're going to solve and check. With this equation, we have x's on both sides of the equal sign. What our goal is here is we want to get the x's together on the same side. So to do that, to keep our equation balanced, we have to do the same thing to both sides. Here we have a positive 3x. We're going to undo that. We want to take that 3x away. So I'm going to put minus 3x on this side, now depending on your teacher from last year. They may have put it on the end like this. But we also have to do it to the other side to keep it equal. So we've got our 5x, but we're going to take away 3x from that. Now I apologize, I've kind of squished that in there. Um, or you could do it on another line. We could have 3, 5x take away the 3x, take away the 7. The take away 7 is still there. And that equals our 3x minus 3x and then plus 11. So these two lines are the same, except they have the extra minus 3x's. 5x take away 3x's. We have 2x's left and minus 7. We still have our equal sign. The reason we took away the 3x is so that this 3x would go away. 3x take away 3x is no x's. And we're just left with the positive 11 here. Now what we need to do is work on getting x all by itself on this side of the equal sign. We're going to do bedmas backwards to isolate, to work backwards to get x by itself. So we're going to get rid of any adding or subtracting first by doing the opposite operation. We have a minus 7, so to undo that, we're going to add 7 to both sides. Add 7 to both sides. So on this side, we have 2x minus 7 plus 7. This becomes 0, and we're left with 2x's. And on this side, we have 11 plus 7, which is 18. Now to get x by itself, it's being multiplied by 2, so we need to undo that by dividing both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just a 1, or just plain 1x, or one, just an x. And then 18 divided by 2 is 9. So this is our solution, or our root. It's the value of x that will make the left side expression equal to the expression on the right side of the equal sign. So this is the check part here. Now, depending on who you had last year and how they've set this up, I usually just do it as a t-chart, left side and right side. On the left side of the equal sign, we originally had the expression 5x minus 7. And on the right side of the equal sign, we originally had the expression 3x plus 11. What we do to check is we take our solution that we found and we sub it in for the x. We substitute it in for the x. And we're going to check to make sure the value that we get here will equal the value we get over here when we sub 9 in for the x. Okay, 9 times 5 is 45. Take away 7, takes us down to 38. And on this side we've got 9 times 3 is 27. And we're going to add 11 to that. That's going to equal 38. 
So because the left side is equal to the right side, left side does equal the right side, therefore x equals 9 is the correct solution. Any questions? Oh wait, you can't ask me questions while we're doing this, but you can put up your hand and ask me during class. All right, question number two, solve. We have x's again on both sides of the equal sign, but before we can deal with this, we're going to need to expand and before we can simplify and then move our stuff around like we did up here. All right, so we know that the five in front of the bracket means we need to multiply everything in the bracket by five first, and we're gonna get five times two is a 10 with an x. A five times a minus one will be a minus five. And then we still have a minus seven. It's outside of the bracket. It doesn't get multiplied by that five. Equals six x, take away three. I think I got an extra little flip right there. And now we could put these together, collect those terms. So we still have our 10 x, a minus five minus seven. So we're down five, go down seven. Altogether we're down 12 or minus 12. And now this question is very similar to the one that we started with here, where I've got x's on both sides of the equal sign. I'm gonna undo that plus six x by subtracting six x. So 10 x's, take away six x's, leaves me with four x's. All my x's live into x's. And then we've got minus three. And from here, I wanna get my x by itself. I undo this subtract 12 by adding 12 to both sides. I'm going to have a 4x left on the left side. A negative 3 add 12 will be a 9. And then to get the x alone, it's being multiplied by 4. So to undo that, I'm dividing both sides by 4. And x will give me 9 over 4. Now I could check that. I can sub it in and make sure my left side equals right side. And I will know whether my answer is correct or not. Okay, I want you to try the next two parts, part B and part C and then you can check your solution afterwards.